Okay boys and girls, this art lesson is going to demonstrate to you how you're going to draw your own Vincent van Gogh sunflowers in a vase and then we're going to use liquid tempera paints. So the very first thing, we're going to get a box of crayons and I want you to get a light coloured crayon that you can still see on the white paper and we're going to start with a vase and generally your vase should be the height of your hand and your hands are a little bit shorter than mine and we're going to start we're just going to look at the examples that I've given you on the handout as the type of vase shapes that we've got that we can use and if you just look I'm just going to just make a mark just the little dots and that's kind of the width the width of your hand and the height of your hand and that's just a little guide and when you've looked at the designs of pots you're going to draw the sides don't take it all the way down to the bottom just going to do a curve like that and a curve like that then I'm going to close the base in just going to bring a curved line not straight but just curved round I'm not going to close the top in at all and make sure that you don't make it at the very bottom okay so you've got this little gap next thing you can change colour if you want to, it doesn't matter, but you're going to be painting over this anyway. Draw a fairly large circle at the front with your crayon. This will be the predominant um, flower. And then draw some smaller circles, but also some oval shapes. So you do a curve and a bit of a curve there, because these are going to be flowers that you can see from the side. Some more circles, remember this is your dominant one. And what this is, is the center of the flower heads, okay? I'm just going to do another dome shape there and curve it round so that would be side. When I've got that, what I'd like to do is draw a table line. So, so far I've done my vase and my centers of my flowers and a table line. So now I'm going to just draw a line behind the vase. So I'll go across, bounce across, and across there. So now I've done a horizontal line so now my vase is sitting on the table. Next stage I'm going to start drawing petals. Now don't worry if you draw over another flower centre, you're supposed to because there's going to be a lot of flowers and we're going to draw petals with the first one here. So I'm just going to make my petals come up I'm, even if it goes off the page like that that's what we want it to do as well. It's like it's bursting out of the vase, these great big beautiful sunflowers. And how I'm doing it, I'm doing a curve, and a curve, and I'm bringing it to the point. Curve, see how I'm going over that centre, it doesn't matter, to the point. Curve, 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 curve. There's my main one. If you want to, so you can differentiate between each flower, you could change the colour, it might make it a lot easier. This shape of a flower, I'm just going to go around, looks a bit like a fried egg. I'm going to go around like that. I'm going to make this one come around like that. So you can see how I've, I'm not going through the blue petals that I've just done. And I'll change my colour so that you can see how I've done this. Take another, let me see what I've got here, colour. And then I'll make this one, same sort of style of petals as the blue one that I've just done. Or I could still make it look like the fried egg. If I wanted to, I could make that petal come across it so it overlaps. Okay, I'll make this one look a bit like a fried egg. So I'm differentiating the style of my petals. And this one, because the petals heads are going this sideways, I'm going to just bend it round like that. Okay, and bend this one round like that. This one's behind the sunflower. When I've got that all completely done, and you can have a handout that shows you how to do all these different styles of petals as well that you can follow, but we're going to do this together as a class. I'm now going to close the head in of the, or the neck in of the vase, just like that. And if I've got space, I could actually draw in a stem and I can see I've got space there to draw two, two lines that look like the stem of the flower. Now the crayons are just for line drawing, that's it, it's just a simple line drawing. And finally if I'd like to, I'm going to draw a curved line just to add a simple design to my pot and curve it round again, like that. Okay, now I'm going to set those crayons to the side and the very first thing we need to do is paint the background. We don't do the flowers in the vase, we paint the background. And I'm going to paint this 
background first and then the table next. When I've got that done, I should be at this stage, okay? Now, the reason why I want to do this first is that this will dry. It's got time to dry while I'm doing this one because then I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to start painting. So I'm going to give you a variety of paint brushes and you're going to get liquid tempera paint. And what we're going to do is double load. And we always dip into the white paint first and then we dip into a second color. So I'm going to make my sunflowers white and then yellow. And I'm going to brush and what I'm getting is a blend of those two colors. I'm going to do it again, white and yellow and brush. So you can see the white and the yellow are blending together and mixing on the paper. I'm going to wash my brush and when I wash my brush I'm going to use a tissue to take the moisture out of it and this time I'm going to go with a bit of white, a bit of orange and I'm going to do my other flowers and you can see what I'm getting now you can see the white and the orange blending together okay same thing every time I go and this is called double loading so I've got two colors on my brush at the same time and the colors blend on the paper and you get this painterly artistic effect. I'm going to do another bit of white, yellow, and this time I'm going to do white, yellow, and orange and paint in my petals. Okay? And then I want the whole thing painted in so really that I don't see any of the white paper showing through. I want it full of colour. I'm going to do the same process again. I'm double loading and fill in. The crayon drawing that we did is a guide, shows us where we're going. I'm going to wash my brush, do another dip. Really we should have no, well, we always go with a white colour first before we do a, a stronger colour, white first, so that we don't contaminate that colour. We keep the white nice and pure. Okay, and I'm just going to go around and do this. I'm doing this very fast, you're going to be a lot better than me at this fill it in and then if I want to double load I could do white and orange and dab in at the center I could also wash my brush again and I could do a little bit of white and a little bit of brown and add in I could go around and fill in the centers of the sunflowers and now we're adding beautiful painted texture. And lastly would be my stem to complete my flower pot. So I'll just get a little bit of white and a little bit of green. And I'm going to go up, up and up. So there's my sunflowers painted. Next I want to paint my vase. So I'm just going to pick what colour would I like to pick? I think I'm going to pick a green and I'm going to make my brush curve around because vases have that nice curved shape and do a green for the top part and a green for the base and I'm going to do another colour for the band then we're going to look at value which is adding light and darkness, shadowing and lightness to our vase. So I'm using short curved brush strokes, curving it round, curving it round because it's giving my vase the shape that it would be in reality. I'm going to give my band, I'll give it a nice bright yellow stroke, there we are. Now while this is wet, and you have to do it while it's wet, clean your brush dip it into white paint, short strokes down the center, short strokes. If you need to get a little bit more, just dip it in again, little short rapid strokes and it's blending into the wet paint. 
Now it looks like sunlight's hitting it. Then I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to do the smallest amount of black. You can see the tiniest bit of black. And I'm going to do a little bit of black on the side, just one side. Okay? And then I just want to bring a little bit across like that. So then I've created a shadow. Okay? Finally, when you look at your painting, I want you to be the judge of it now. If you want to leave it like that, then leave it. The next stage is that you take a very fine paintbrush and you paint around every petal, every center head, and round the vase so that you make this bold contrast and it just pulls out the shapes that you have drawn. And this is your choice. If we get to the stage where we haven't got time to do it and it's actually dry, you could actually do the same process but with a black crayon or a black oil pastel rather than paint. And you're just going to go very finely around that whole shape. And that's it boys and girls. I'm going to continue with this and you'll be able to see it as a final finished example with other examples I've got to show you. And now it's your turn boys and girls. Let's go and make some art.